me? Yes. Okay. Show is star. Show my star. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, let's do a mandala offering. Thank you, Kesha. Shall we do a mandala offering? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sashi Puki Joshi Meta Cham Rila Ning Shi Ning De Kandadi Zange Shinku Mite Uwagi Joku Namda Shinla Chupa Show Idang Guru Namda Mada Kami Atayami Sange Chudam Sogi Chalam La Jang Chu Badu Dani Gapsu Shi Daki Sungen Gipe Sunam Gi Jola Penshe Sange Chupa Show Sange Chudam Sogi Cholam La Jang Chu Badu Dani Gapsu Shi Daki Sungen Gipe Sunam Gi Jola Penshe Sange Chupa Show Sange Chudam Sogi Cholam La Jang Chu Badu Dangni Gapsu Shi Daki Sungen Gipe Sunam Gi Jola Penshe Sange Chupa Show Thank you Okay, three questions. First one, it is important that people know about the vows before accepting, taking the vows. Please explain why. It's very simple. Dompa mi kye. The vows will not grow if you don't understand them very clearly. Yes, correct. And second question. There are two important parts for the ritual for the conclusion of the ordination ceremony. Please uh, list them. The time. Yeah. Uh, what, what about the time? Can you say more about details? Exactly, exactly what time, because you have to know who is superior in the monastic system. Yeah, yeah. Right. And How then uh, people give advices. You got your vows now, be careful, keep your vows. Don't ever break them, make them grow. Nice, thank you, Bets. Yay. And the three, uh, third question, how do people note the exact time in a particular in Asian time? They time travel to current time and use their cell phones. Wow, very advanced. <laughs> And um, anything I'm else? The stars. It's a trick question. They didn't note the exact time. Oh, sorry. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> they know the general time. OK. Mm -hmm. No, you can leave it as exact. It's a trick question. Oh, OK. Well, sometimes they had an open space and they used a sundial. And, the, and then other times, they found yes. someone who knew astronomy really well, like if it was nighttime, but yet other times they were forced to give a general time if it was cloudy or said astronomer, astrologer wasn't around. Yeah, thank you, Word. Thank you. Yeah, now let's go to three vocabulary. The first one, chum de pa shu. What does it mean? Request to direct your mind towards. Sorry, I missed what you said. Word, could you please say that again? A request to please direct your minds. Yes. So direct your mind, and please listen. Oh, oh, sorry. Pay attention, please. The, the shoe part is like a request to direct their mind. So it means that. Oh. Hey, everybody, listen. Sorry, sorry. So is is sorry. Is it request to direct mind or just direct your mind, Kesha? Okay. 
Okay. Sorry, I was checking something else. What, did, what was it? Oh, sure. to step a shoe means uh, a request that you direct your holy mind. Oh, it's a request. Holy mind. Okay. Thank you. Second one, say, go. The finger snap. Yay. Thank you. Is it Brigitte? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. The one, San Mo. Night. Yeah, night, night time. Thank you. Great. Gesha, Yay, thank you. Thank you. Gesha, I finished the homework. Please take the plane. Okay. Okay, I was just checking some more things in your text. Thank you. uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. One more. Okay, here we go. Okay, I got something new for you. Oh. Okay, so we finished. Uh, we're almost finished with checking the time, and he has a few more comments to make. Okay, so Xiaoping is going to start reading here. Oh, and Sunam is going to critique. OK. Chikla sope to signa tang in dan ki cha near ni tang do go chope chokala sopa shinpa sung shen mo nam le shepa chow. OK, not bad. Uh, then he says, look, there's some other things you need to know about uh, checking the time of the ordination, okay? Here's the first one. Chila sope tutsik. Tutsik. Okay, now I read Shopping's email. I'm offering 20 bucks for tutsik. Season? Dang. Stupid guy. 20 bucks for word. Okay. Tim, are you there? Do you mind to keep me check? for me during my class. Tim's gonna make the, the money notes during shopping's class, okay? Is that okay, Tim? He offered to help me last time. If, if Tim is not there standing, could you please help me? Yes. Okay, thank you. You can charge her, you can charge her. Okay, Chila <laughs> Sopit uh, So how many seasons of the year are there? Five. Now, yeah, in Buddhism, there's five. Okay, oh. in Buddhism, there's five. Okay, and this he gave one example, which is chi, which is springtime. Springtime. Okay. Now I went and got you the five because they are very confusing, uh, and I just found them during your homework. That's why I was distracted. Oh, okay. thank you. So. Uh, Let's just read the names of the five, okay? There, this is the definition from the Great Dictionary, okay? So what is gun? Anybody? Winter. Winter, good. Chi is? Springtime. Spring. Uh, spring, okay. Yartsam means uh, basic summer. Early summer, yeah. Basic summer. And, yeah. And then Yartung means a short summer. And then Yaring means a long summer. So the summer is divided into three 
uh, three parts. Uh, here, I'll, I'll read it to you, okay? Just roughly, okay? Maybe we make a little footnote here, okay? Uh, so, these are div divisions because people know how, need to know how to do yar kelen, yar kelen. Yar kelen, anybody? Uh, the so, summer retreat? Yeah, uh, the monks and nuns agreed to keep the summer Darn retreat. It. So the five divisions of the seasons are for the convenience of the summer retreat, judging the summer retreat time correctly, okay? So this is the monastic seasons, okay? Uh, Hor, Horn Da means a Mongolian month, okay? Keeping month by the Mongolian way, the old Mongolian way, which is the way it's done in Tibet, okay? So mm -hmm. Horn Da means the 10th month of Mongol from the 16th of that month up to the 15th of the second Mongol month. One, sorry, um, yeah, sorry, from the 10th Mongol month, 16th date, up to the second Mongol month, 15th date, which is four complete months, we call it winter. So winter is four months long, okay? The next four months, which starts on the 16th day of the second Mongol month and goes up to the 16th day, sorry, the 15th day of the sixth Mongol month, those four months period is called spring. Okay, so so far we have eight months, uh, four months of winter and four months of spring. Honda dupe sechu dune from the 16th day of the sixth Mongol month up to the 15th day of the seventh Mongol month, which is only one month, is called simple basic summer. Basic summer. Okay. Uh, then from the 16th day of the seventh Mongol month, uh, a single 24 hours is called the short summer month, okay? Just one day, one 24 hour day. It's given its own season name, short month. Because I think because in there you take your vow to do a summer retreat like that, okay? And then from the 16th day of the seventh Mongol month up to the 10th, the 15th day of the 10th Mongol month, which is three months, you have, uh, it says three months less one 24 hour day. Okay, three months less one 24 hour day, which was the little summer, right? We call it long summer. Kesha, were you saying the, the 17th of the seventh Mong Mongol month, no 16th, just I mentioned 16th. Uh, here it says from the 16th of the seventh Mongol month. Uh, but but you're supposed to subtract that day actually. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So you can say the 17th. Yeah. Good oh. point. Yeah. So anyway, it's supposed to add up to 12 months, and those are the five. Those are the five monastic seasons. Okay. Uh, then you can take Nyin Sen. What's that mean, you guys? Uh, one day and night? Yeah, one 24-hour period, one day and one night, yin and sen. And you can divide it into cha nyer ni, yi shu nyer ni. 24 parts. Or 20 ni. 20, oh, 22 parts, right? Yeah, 22 parts, OK? There's a way to divide the 24 hours into 22 hours, OK? 22 parts, okay? This 24 hour thing is a modern thing, right? Nobody did it before, okay? And also there's a special ritual, choga, for how you announce the time of the ordination. Dugo jupa means announcing the time of the ordination. 
Now, if you want to know all these details about the five seasons and the 22 hours of day and how the ritual for announcing the ordination time, you can sh go look at the Shung Chim. Main text, the great. Uh, go look at the great books on Vinaya. This is not a great book on Vinaya. This is a small commentary to Jetson Kappa's super small poem about the Vinaya. If you want to know all these details about the seasons and the 22 parts of the day and the whole ritual for announcing the, the time of the ordination, Shepard Chow, you go read it in those big books, okay? In detail. It means I don't want to cover it here. Okay, you go, you go find it in those big books. And I'm not going to make a footnote for these. I mean, the, maybe for the five seasons, because it's cute. But uh, his intention is to make a short book. And mostly I gave you guys short books to work with as your first book. And when you get to your second book, that's your big book, except for Stanley. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's big book. Yeah, his first book is a big book. Okay, now uh we're gonna have here's the second part of the conclusion to the ceremony okay the first part of the conclusion was what no, from shopping's homework no the time announcing the time what was the second part of the last part give advice how to give the vows well yeah give advice to the new monk okay the new monkey <laughs> okay, so please read this, and Ellie is going to check your pronunciation because she's the Vinaya <laughs> master. Yes, thank you. Shoni Patam Nakchopani Gelo. Chukchok. Starting at Chuk, right? Yeah. Chukchok Nipa. Chukchok Nipa Tam Ka Chopal. Dark Chopala Chopani, Gelong Ki So We Ne Ko Tang Tang Set Tang Ne Ma Tang Mang Nam Men Nam Men Nam Men Nam Ta Ni Suma Tung Wa La Chopa Tang Pa Tang Hung Wa Okay, cool. Jukchok means the ceremony for the end of the ceremony. Okay, the ceremony for the last part of the ordination. Here's the second part, which is Damnak Jupa. We're going to give the monk advice. And there's 11 advices, okay? Uh, I set them up for you. Uh, <clears throat> so, this name means uh, things <coughs> that the monk needs to tsoa. What's it mean, you guys? Take care of himself. Yeah. What's the uh, to support yourself, right? We just had the lok songa. We just had the five mistaken tsoas in Seiji's text. And now we have. So a name means things that you need to live on, okay? The things that a monk needs to live on. They are number one, ke, clothes, meaning their robes, okay? Same means what? Food. Food, name mail. Place to live. Uh, mattress, or oh. yeah, mattress. And men. Medicine. Yeah, and for all of these things, clothes, food, mattress, uh, medicine, don't hlungwa into the tanyi. Don't, go, don't have the downfall of the two extremes. Yeah, this just means fall. Here it just means fall. Don't, don't go into either extreme. What are the two extremes for food, for example? Overeating, undereating. Yeah, overeating or undereating. So, you know, it's it's not a virtue to starve yourself either. That's also a bad thing. It's not a good deed to don't wear warm clothes when it's cold. 
Okay, so don't go, don't go either extreme. Don't fall to either extreme, okay? Mm -hmm. This is how you should live, chapa. Dapa means you give the monk advice, okay? So the first advice is how to live day to day, okay? Mm -hmm. About your clothes, your food, mattress, and medicine, okay? Now, advice number two, Jingmei, I, can you continue to check her? Yeah. Get get long key ngo o shing pa kyu we chop pam pa shik chap dog tongue chap pa pong chip pa pong wa la tam pa tang. Okay, cool. Get long ngo means the essence of a monk, of a full monk. This shikpa is the past tense of njikpa. What is it, you guys? Fall apart, perish, destroy. Yeah, destroy. Your way chu. There are four first four vows of a monk called the first the downfalls, okay, Pambashi, which we're gonna study pretty soon now that the ceremony is finishing. Yay! Uh, <laughs> this ceremony is long. I mean. The commentary is 10 times longer than the ceremony, okay? Uh, <laughs> so anyway, if you do these four downfalls, it would destroy the essence of your vows, okay? So the first four are most important out of 253 for a monk, okay? So we got to explain the Pambash, the four Pambas we're going to explain to the monk. And it takes a long time because you repeat it three times. I guess you think the guy's asleep or something. Chaitanta uh, Chapa means uh, along with all the elements contained in each of the four. Like what are the essential parts? So Chaitanta Chapa means along with the essential parts. Okay. Then you say you better bone these four. Okay. What's that mean? You tell the new monk you better bone. Give them up. Yeah, give up these four. That's the second advice, okay? That's the second advice. Tell him the four big vows and tell him, because they could destroy his vows, okay? If you do those big four, you destroy your vows, okay? All right. I love this number three. Uh, Ellie, do one more, okay, with, with shopping. yang la mi xie, yang la mi xie. Girl,香米，吃香辣米壳，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，吃，
hey, you, you, you know, you wash those dishes really bad. Criticize, okay? Yeah. Someone criticizes you. Then lar miše. You criticize them. Back. You don't. You don't criticize them back. Yeah, don't criticize them back. Okay. And it's it's very against human nature. These four are against human nature completely. Okay. If Stanley criticizes you, then lar miše. <laughs> don't criticize back. Just let it go. Okay. Just let it go. These four, are, we can call them the four let it goes, okay? Oh, four well, let it go, nice. Let it go, okay? Someone criticizes you, don't criticize them back, okay? This is the third advice that you give to a new monk. It's very powerful, okay? What's chukyang? Chukyang. Angry. Oh. Yeah, someone gets angry at you. Then larmito. Don't get angry. Don't get back. Don't get angry back. Okay. The lar means back. Okay. Don't get angry back. So if they criticize you, don't criticize them back. If they get upset at you, don't get upset at them back. Even if they deck you, don't be deck. <laughs> they, they beat you. Yeah. Deck means to hit you. Okay. Strike you with a stick or with their hand. Okay. Even if someone hits you, lar me deck. Don't hit them back. It's very difficult. These three. I laughed very... because. Oh. Why? Because that's what we say in English. I'm gonna deck you. Oh yeah, there's a joke in English. Uh, there's a strange idiom called deck. Deck means the floor of the ship. But when you hit someone and they fall down on the floor, we call it's a new verb. We call deck them. It means put them on the deck. And. She, Udpala is saying it's the same in Tibetan dick. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Sangdru, I don't think you guys know. Let's give it thirty dollars. Isn't that like one grain or something? Uh this oh, is... talk about someone's hidden flaws or something. I'll give you 20 for that answer. Yeah. Oh, Upala? If okay. No, I'll give you 30. I'll give you 30. Yeah, Udpala 30. Sangdu uh, means to uh, investigate someone, find out their secret uh, mistakes, and tell everybody. Reveal the okay. secret. Yeah, like, you know, you check a person's life, you find out their bad qualities that they try to keep secret. <laughs> And then you advertise them to everybody. Okay. This sang do means sang means a nest of ants. And do means you dig it, you dig it up. So you dig up all their we say uh, dirty laundry in English. You check their dirty laundry and you show it to everybody. Okay. Oh, he looks like a good monk, but three years ago he did this, you know. Nobody knew. So that's called sang do. So if someone song does you, you shouldn't what? Large song. Lean back. Yeah, don't do it back. I mean, the human tendency, if someone tells everybody your secret faults, is to try to find out their secret faults, you know? And uh, yeah, it's a very common habit, very common bad, bad habit, okay? Some of the day. Okay, so there's four. Criticize, don't criticize back. Upset, don't get upset back. Even hit you, don't hit them back. And they dig into your, they advertise your secret bad qualities. Don't advertise their secret bad qualities, okay? These four are the next advice, advice number three. You know, I would call it the four let it goes or something, I don't know. But literally, it says the four practices of virtue, okay? Which is very similar to the four of what for $25? In the vows. Bodhisattva vows. No. Nope. Four chains? No, 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 no. Uh, there's a thing called Ge Jongi Deboshi. All right, the four fruits of the. You're of close. The, 
of the some kind of monks, I was like, yeah, the novice. No. Uh, the four fruits of the practice of virtue. What are right, they? Right, 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 right. Yeah. Stream mentor. Oh. Uh, once returner. Once returner. Non returner. Okay, Jongi Dirbushi. Very similar, but different meaning. Okay. Very similar name. Okay, advice number four. Shopping, you're doing these advices very slow. I guess <laughs> you're so wise. You want the, the monk to understand them deeply. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, who's up next? Let me see who's up. Uh, Sugang, you want to criticize this lady? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yay. Ring ring to ne mong pe tong chu pa in pe nian ko ke la chu ko song song gu song gu shet chok tu ndu pe tong chu wa tam pa tang yeah uh this is uh, advice to don't give up your high motivation. Don't give up your high motivation, okay? Keep trying. And it may take many years, you know? I mean, monks practice for many years. You can be a monk for 20, 30, 40 years and still you have to work hard. You, you, you can't lose your motivation, okay? So, you have to work hard for a long time, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 years to reach the thing you pray for, to reach the thing you want to reach, okay? Mumbidun. For $10, what's Dundrupa? Siddhartha. Siddhartha, okay, who is that? That's me, it's Ben. Ben, $10. I'll take it, thank you, sir. Okay, you gotta split it with Ezra, okay. Uh, yeah, so over a long period of time, you have to keep working towards your goal that you want to reach, okay? And from time to time, you're going to need to nyambokye. Adjust? Yeah, adjust, yeah. You, you're going to fail, and then you need the antidote, right? Like the four antidotes, okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to fail, and you need the antidote. And you have to protect this motivation okay and it's hard for 10 years 20 years 30 years it, it takes a really good monk to keep up that motivation for to be a good monk takes at least 10 years so uh you gotta protect that motivation okay choke to dupe dupe please try to reach the highest goal that you're motivated for okay you keep keep up your high motivation that's advice number four all right adam's checking you on a couple more here we go are you there mr adam unmute yourself yeah i'm, I'm here guess so hi okay criticize this lady come on come on <laughs> Tang so rim so chim so chim yam par kyu we gewa la kur shing tam pa tang. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's kulwa for ten dollars? Kulwa load, huh? Load a burden. Uh, that's kulwa. Yeah, uh, there's a verb particle called kultsik. Kultsik. Imperative, like have to. Yeah, good. Uh, so, shopping, word gets nine ninety nine. Okay. Okay. Because he needed a he needed a clue. So cool means to urge somebody. Okay. And they say, look, uh, Nathan, like you guys know the sixteen elders, right? Uh, Nathan Chudu. These are great practitioners, great monks of ancient times. Okay. Uh, try to keep your morality. Follow the example of these ancient masters like Hua, Hua Shang, okay? Uh, keep, their, keep that example in front of you and try to make your morality equal, nyam, to them, okay? So that's called Gewa Lakul. 
urging the new monk to keep his good deeds, okay? And try to act like, try to act the same in your morality as the great monks of ancient times, okay? Cool. Mm. I like one of the 16 is called Bakula. 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 And uh, I, I knew his reincarnation very well. And uh, he was very cool. So uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, next. Kang, Kang Pola, Pei Ntuk, Shen Yen Wa, Jopa, Sok Jig Denpe, Sok Tang, Jerwe, Sok Niam La, Ge Par, Sha. Thank you. Jar, Xing. Okay, cool. Uh, Kembo means your vow giver, right? Here it means the person who gave you your vow. This douche, which I think Stanley, do you have a class today? No. no tomorrow. tomorrow. We're going to do the definition of douche in your class. We finished Sorwa, and yeah. we're going to go to the third of the five heaps, which is discrimination, right? Yep. Now, douche has two completely different meanings. Do, one means discrimination. He's tall, he's short, he's fat, he's skinny. But it also means conception, okay? Like, how do you think about your vow giver after the ceremony for the rest of your life? You think of them like your pa. Father. Like your father. And they're supposed to think of you like their son, okay? For the rest of your life, okay? When I was in the diamond business, I think for 10 years, pe people thought Ken Rinpoche was my dad until they met him. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Nyero joke means uh, try to establish a conception of your vow giver as if he's your father, okay? Etc. cetera. Uh, Jig Tembe Tsultan Dawa means, you know, parallel to what people do in the normal world, okay? Like family relationships, okay? Like the way a daughter loves her mother, or the way a son loves his father, or the way a father takes care of the son, or the way a mother takes care of her daughter, okay? Uh, keep up in the way that in a parallel world, normal people do. And that's called uh, apply yourself to the reflection, okay? Apply yourself to the reflection. And this is a, some kind of Vinaya idiom. Apply yourself to the reflection. Uh, probably it means, uh, and I, it comes later, uh, like your life is going to be a mirror image. We say in English, a mirror image of the relationships that we have in the normal world. Okay, there's a mirror image in the monastic life. So in the normal world, we have daughter-mother relationship, we have son-father relationship, and make a mirror relationship in your monastic life between you and your vow giver, okay? It's called keep the mirror, keep the reflection, okay? All right, uh, Adam, you're still up, okay? Sampa Tang, Jok Sampa Tsung Pa. Chung Wei? Oh, Chung Pa. Chung Pa Tang, Ne Tan Ta Pa. Ten. Ne Ten. Ne Ten Tang. Wa ma tang, sa tu tang, cha pala, su pa tang, she tang, nji pa tang, che pe, ne par, che go she, go she, go she, chuk la su, shing tu, wa ne pa, go shing tu, go shing tu, go shing tu, wa ne pa la. Good. Okay, number seven, advice number seven. Maybe that's 
when we finish the 11, we're, we're just about done with the whole ceremony, okay? Uh, number seven. Dampa dang, chok sampar, sampar chapa dang, netan dampama dang, sadu dang, chapa la kupa dang, shedan chipa dang chipa. So, I don't know what, oh, oh, that, that, that's a mistake. I made a mistake. That should go up here. Okay. Uh, all right. Jok Tsamba Tsumba Chipa means your monastic brothers, okay? Your brothers in the monastery who are called Brahmacharya. What's that mean? Uh, celibate. Yeah. They are leading, in a broad sense, it means leading the way of life of a monk. In the specific sense, it means not engaging in any sexual behavior, okay? Dang uh, ne ten. So whether you have a ne ten, we had it above, we had oh. it up here, these elders, okay? What is it in Sanskrit? Avira. Stop, stop it. Stavira, yeah, Stavira, yeah. So the oldest monk in the monastery, okay, the elder, elder monks, and the Parma, the middle-aged monks, okay, who've been, in, maybe they've been ordained 10, 20 years. So the guy who's been ordained for 50 years, and the guy who's, so I've been ordained for, 37 years, okay. Nay, nay, okay. Those older ordained monks, the medium ones, and sardu doesn't mean, this is a noun, okay? It's a very strange noun in Vinaya. Mm -hmm. Sardu means new, newbie, okay? New, you, you who just got your vows, okay? Uh, you who just got your vows. Okay, uh, Chepa, uh, so the old ones, along with the medium ones and the new ones, you have to kupa them. Be respect. Yeah, and uh, she, I wonder if this is not Shesa. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put a question mark, okay. Uh, uh, shesa would mean uh, show them respect, show them honor. And chikpa, like even be nervous around them, you know. Uh, you have to live that way. So respect them, treat them with honor, and be afraid around them in a good way. Like be afraid to, be afraid to insult them or to not do what they ask you to do, okay? Uh, stay in that kind of, stay in that kind of attitude, okay? Nepache, good. So you have to keep good relationships with all the other monks, even if they're older or middle, or maybe even younger than you, or maybe they took their vows after you, but still you have to remain in a state of healthy respect and almost fear for them. Do or nepa, and stay very disciplined, right? Nepa uh, ja. You, you have to make the monk do that, and you have to give him that advice. Cool? And the main thing here is uh, it doesn't matter whether other monks are younger than you. You still have to respect them because they are representative of the Buddha. Okay. Okay. Advice number eight. Hey. Uh, who's up next? Checking. I would say Gibson. Are you there? You gotta unmute yourself. I'm here. You gotta unmute yourself. Will you criticize shopping? It's fun. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Go Nien, slow jumping. Okay. Nian pa zok shin che ne chung po tang. Kung po. What? Kung po. Kung po tang. Kung tang kye che la kam pa tang. Then pa tang. Kam pa tang. Then jail la kam pa tang. เคทังเนมายินพาลาคังเคพาทังดอกพาคงเนคงชูกิวเวชะชาเวชูซงพาชาโคเชพงวาทังลอกพาณีคีดอกพาเจสุ Okay, cool. Uh, okay, means once you have been fully ordained, which is going to finish in a few minutes for this guy. Okay, now that you have been fully ordained, after that, you must study, study, study. That's all. You study, 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 okay? Uh, from that point on, you could, for example, study a very interesting guy's text about the heaps, the categories, and the doors of sense. <laughs> Who's that? Stanley's test. Yeah, okay? And you could master it, Kippa. Master the Abhidharma, for example. Okay, or you could master the very interesting text of a guy from Singapore. We have life. Yeah, the dependent origination, the 12 links, okay. You could master that. Or you could master means things you should do and things you shouldn't do. They're called places and not places to go and places you shouldn't go, okay? Which is in a young lady's text called? Inaya. Xiaoping, okay? You should master that. And in general, you should probably read Petz's text and take your topa, kongne, kongne, kongdu, kongdu. Meditation. Yeah, get your realizations higher and higher. Kongne, kongdu, okay? Go kongne. higher and higher. And you have to work at that, Simba, okay? To do that, you must, okay? So from one side, try to get the person to respect, uh, to, to, to give up the bad deeds that they could do. They have to respect their vows, which is called pongwa, okay? And you have to encourage them to keep studying. Lokpa means what, you guys? Reading. reading, keep reading, keep coming to the mixed nuts classes, which the next set is in September, I think, right, you guys? Uh -huh. Probably we'll do it online, I'm guessing. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, or we'll do both. I don't know, we'll see. Lopa, Dong. So whether it's watching your vows or continued study, you gotta do it. Nepaja, Jesu Drupala Nepaja means get the candidate to do this, get the candidate to take this seriously, give them this advice number eight, okay? Study, 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 okay. By the way, what advices did we have so far? Number one, do the right thing with your food and clothes and etc. Number mm -hmm. two, watch out for those four big bad deeds. Number three, don't get back what people give you bad stuff. Okay. Four, shopping. Don't forget that highest motivation. Number yeah. five, be friends with all the other, oh, sorry. Try to act like those, by the way, this is not this one. Uh, I'm gonna change this one. Uh, that's a different one, emulate. Uh, emulate yeah. great monks of old, olden times, okay? Try to act like the great monks of 
old times. Then have this almost family relationship with your other monks. Respect everybody equally. Study, 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 study. Okay. Number nine. We have time, you guys? Mm, three minutes. Okay, let's go. We can finish this one. Okay. Dikta nik rakpa zamin la lep pe ne shingpa ni lawa chet tawa? Okay. Tawa chet chet tu so so ta pe do do pe de tok pa kyu shing kam lop chop she sok de top pa kyu she chop pa yang tak pa lang pa la tang pa tang yeah yeah uh now rakpa means what you guys roughly yeah look we're just telling you roughly what you should do there's a lot more you have to learn okay so labe ni if you want to know what you're supposed to practice okay then if you want the details you're going to learn it dawa che che every every two weeks every half month okay there you're going to sit in the sojong ceremony and somebody's going to recite the so sort tarpe do Moksha Sutra. Good. Somebody will recite the whole Prati Moksha Sutra in the Sojung ceremony. And I want you to too. Listen. I want you to listen. Okay. Ken Lob Troksha Sola Tupagyar. Also, try to learn more about these vows and what it is to be a monk from your vow giver, from the masters who per perform this ceremony from your friends and from your scripture teachers uh, you know try to learn more from them because we don't have time today during the ordination to give you all the details shiba of what you're supposed to know okay okay so uh, this is advice that the candidate should do what other people talk about doing, okay? Like at the Sojong, or maybe in his room with other monks, okay? Listen to them, learn from them, because there's a lot of details you have to know, and we don't have time to go over them today, okay? That's advice number nine. We got any time, man? That's it, Dan. Okay, two more advices next time. Okay. By the way, it took me a long, long time to break this out into the 11. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Up here. Uh, 27? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Kesha. Let's do a sushi. Let's have sushi. Sashi Puki Yoshi Sunam Yeshe Zok Shin, Sunam Yeshe Le Jung Wet, Dampa Kungi Topa Show. Yay! Thank you. Wow, okay, we're making it. We're going to almost finish with this long ordination, and then we can start the long list of vows. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Gesha. Thank you, Gesha. It's just a five minute break this time. Thank you, Gesha. Okay. Hey, Tim.